Fight fam, back at it again. Back at it again with another night of live fights. We got this Pro Box card tonight. Uh, <laughs> the return of, or shit, the awakening of uh, Nicholas Walters, who I saw actually had two fights in uh, 2023, but but definitely against opponent type fighters. So we'll see what he looks like after, you know, that long ass layoff and finally coming back to some stiffer competition. But, uh, you know, funny to see him on the main event. But anyway, Adorno, Adorno versus Walters, uh, a few fights before that. Definitely got the bets going tonight. Uh, definitely uh, put money on, I think, all of these fights, actually. Not that 305 was good, bro. But anyway, let's get it, man. Love Pro Box, bro. They two hour program and it's a wrap. On time like a motherfucker. So let's get it. I'm gonna try my best to keep up with the in-game uh bets, even though I can't bet myself. Not in a I'm in a restricted area, but we're going to see what it do anyway. They're just announcing the card right now. Oh, as always, links in the comment section. Anybody want to come up right with you with your boy? No trolls, please. I ain't got no time for it. I'm looking at Paulie, oh, of course, the fight's on uh, YouTube, by the way. I mean, I got a Pro Box subscription. I'm just paying $2 a month for nothing right now, but but the fight's on YouTube. But, you know, I, I support what they're doing, though. I love this type of shit, you know, creating your own app, putting on fights, you know what I mean? Eventually, when they go to just straight Pro Box TV app, you know, I wish them, I wish them success, man. It's what the promoter should have did a long time ago. It's what the PBC should have did. That's what the top rank should have did instead of relying on these TV dates from these networks. Apps make money. Paid apps definitely make money. Paid platforms like Patreon. In fact, you haven't checked out the Patreon page, you definitely got to go check that out. That's where all the uh, film study and a and a or the full film studies are shown. I show you a bit of my professional work on there with professional fighters. Uh, you know, shout out my boy, <clears throat> shout out my boy Scooby, shout out Coach Bermudez, Rohan Polanco. Uh, you know, shout out everybody I rock with, everybody knows, but or they they know who they are, but um, yeah, man, it's a lot going on out there. Buen Rumbo, never heard of the name or never uh, seen the name, try to join the panel, but it says device is not connected. Might need to try again, buddy. I meant to start the shit at 8 10 so we can get straight into the action. Been having a lot of luck with that uh, 10 minutes after joint.
fluff, fluff, fluff. What's Polly talking about? Juarez versus Clarence Booth first. Fresh was good, bro. Yes, sir. Clarence Booth, 36. Damn. They got this man height at 59, 59.5 inches. <laughs> Four eleven and a half, huh? Excited to see if Walter still Zika was good. I'm excited to see if Walter still got it. He's turned 38. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll see. Michael James is good, bro. What I got for this? Uh, I know I got um, Juarez for the dub. Mm, Giraffe King's not letting me see my bets. Okay. Interesting. Don't appreciate it. There we go. No, oh, yeah, Juarez by decision is what I took. He could box. He could box. Um, Clarence Booth is more of a a rougher fighter. Juarez more of a boxer puncher. Clarence Booth can't box that well. But Buddy's a tough dude. I think he should last, but we'll see. One, two, one, two gets in, two gets in between the guard for Juarez. Uh, nice job controlling Booth's uh high guard and going for that body shot. Got into a little Philly shell, blocked pretty much everything. Tried to go around the high guard with a four. Couldn't quite roll that two from uh, Booth right there, though. Already, you see the clean work coming from Juarez, but he should probably be slightly more cautious. He could definitely outbox this dude. No need to run into nothing stupid from a fighter that's below you, technical skill wise. Hmm. Single mid range jab. Juarez gets hit with an overhand.
Back down a straight line to the ropes. Don't want to do that. Nice little one-one overhand from Juarez. Overhand was more so grazing. Good job, ducking, clinching, turning. Mm. Cross gets right through the guard for Juarez. Nice little three on the inside. Wasn't a lot of steam on it at all. Good defensive responsibility after that big swing and a miss with the backhand. Nice defense there. Nice defense from Booth blocking that forward to the body. Uh, distance and um, throwing that lead. Yeah, there we go. There's a little level change, one, two, that Juarez lands. But distance and throwing that cross seemed to be working for Juarez early. He probably shouldn't go away from that. Splitting that high guard. Buen Rumbo, device not connected, bro. Booth ain't nothing to play with. Eh. Nah, you shouldn't be playing. I mean, for sure. Game plan, you know, just stick to what works and, you know, don't do the dumb shit. PBC Central was good, bro. Bro, I say device not connected, fam. Give it up. Uh, Guerra, it is what time is it? I'm on East Coast time, so eight thirteen p.m. They're on East Coast time as well. They're in Florida. Nice little up down jab from Juarez. Uh, a little foolish uh, closing distance with the shell, but not all the way. You probably want to smother with that, you know, stay mid range. Nice little three two, though. Good job ducking under that backhand. Mmm, nice level change. Cross Did that knock his mouthpiece out. Juarez, nice, nice level change cross. So that's the second time that level change did something for him. Overhand lands for him. Oh, that was, man, he tried to sweep with a. I see uh, Booth change southpaw. I, I don't think, I don't think that's going to do anything for him. But he's starting with the jab jouts. I mean, I, I don't know how much he knows about lead hand controls. They just trade hooks there. Booth working on the inside. Juarez keeping the hands home. Now he lands an overhand. Clean shot. Another little clean overhand. A little body shot. Another little body shot. But he needs to uh, hold the phone with his backhand. Got hit with a three. Tried another single mid-range jag. Got rocked with an overhand, but got out the exchange clean. Landed across at the end of it. Juarez making this a bit more competitive than he needs to. Uh, just forward shifted on that wide miss. Ended up in a poor position. Nice little control off that miss, though. Okay. That level change. So it's really been the cross that splits the guard, that splits the uh, high guard, and the level change that's been, that's been really successful for Juarez. Mm. 
there's a level change for the four and then a four to the head is that that hits a uh, booth very clean probably should mix in a stab or a cross to the body if he wants to continue with the level changes or oh, there's another level change cross to the head nice check hook there nice check hook again Juarez is uh I think it's Juarez 2-0 but he should again stick to what's working and keep going bro Clarence Booth making a, a good fight of it, though, for sure. <laughs> Low clarity was good. I still like my bet very much. Uh, Juarez by decision. Let's see if they got something changing in the end game. They don't even got these shits in the end game. Nope, I don't see no boxing. There is that stab I was talking about. If you're gonna use, if you're gonna utilize that level change more and more, best mix in something to the body. If he gives it to you, cool. <laughs> well, worked with the level change feints right there. There's another stab to the body. He smothered after there's another stab. There's another stab. All right, now, now, Booth, I was about to say, Booth is definitely dropping that lead hand. He landed an overhand over top, so. Yeah, Juarez can't stop throwing that single mid-range jab, though. Got hit with another overhand for it. Nice level change cross again. Again, level change. Definitely working for him. Mm -hmm. If he's a fighter I'm working with, I definitely want to see him exploit the uh, disengagements, just the simple step backs and exploit a booth with a stab jab while he's coming in. Mm, nice combination from Juarez. And sometimes he's having a little tr trouble controlling distance and that'll do it for him. Good job getting out that corner. He switched stances now. Switch mm -hmm. southpaw, attacked immediately. Still southpaw, probably should switch back. All right, there you go, switch back. <laughs> See if he goes back to the level change. There's a little disengagement, but Again, he's so he's disengaging. He's waiting. What'd be nicer for him to do is disengage, and then while Booth is coming forward, throw that stab jab, stop him in his tracks, then work off of it. And the next time, probably the cross up top. Nice little cross at the end from Clarence Booth, though. But still, Juarez round three zero. Good luck to anyone's money this evening. Appreciate it, man. Good luck to you. Angelo Leo fighting on Pro Box again, 410. Okay. Rafael is good.
Single mid-range jab, getting him hit with overhands. Nice 3-2, though. Level change, overhand. Yeah. What is this, a 10-round fight? Yeah. Quadruple jab from Juarez, stepping left. Hit him with a couple of them. Good job covering up. Probably not in the position he wants to be in, though. He's letting he's letting Booth do a lot of work once he can close distance. He didn't land a lot clean, but you know the aesthetics of it all. Hmm. Good job attacking a reset right there from Juarez. There you go, in and out movement, level change with the stab jab to an overhand clean. <laughs> There's another level change overhand clean. So the reason I, I said decision because Juarez don't have a whole lot of pop, and Boop is a tough dude. If he did, I mean, if he had pop, Boop would have been on the canvas already. Clean ass overhands landing over top. There's another one. All right, Juarez starting to get cute. Staying mid range a little bit longer. Level change, cross, clean. And, and and I definitely don't like him in the shell, just cross walking out of, out of range, disengaging like that. That's tough. It was a better fighter. They had to just follow him out with punches, landed something solid. It's the one thing studying the bet for these, uh, you know, pro box fights and and just mainly just undercard fights in general. You know, you get to go over a lot of uh, mistakes and flaws and weaknesses, what not to do, which probably a lot more important. Or not you know, not probably. Let me excuse me. It's way more important to see that than to see somebody doing some shit spectacular. You know. Too much sensationalizing going on in boxing. That's why you have boxing uh, uh, Instagram and shit. Motherfuckers doing all types of terrible shit, getting praised for it. Let's see if they change. No, nope, still no in game bets, man. If you're not going to do nothing on the inside, avoid the inside. There's no point of just standing there in a high guard, man. You can do, I mean, a lot of these fighters, you know, they don't know what to do or they get bored. 
or they're waiting for something very, very specific. I, bro, it's just, again, aesthetically, if you don't have a pot to get a guy out of there, like with one punch, aesthetically, you just taking work, blocking it or not. It, it just looks bad, man. It looks like you're getting outworked. But Juarez doing a better job letting his hands go a little bit more on the inside. Now, again, he's definitely more skilled than Booth, but he's giving Booth his best chance by staying at this distance, though. Doesn't need to do that. Mm, nice backhand, though. Virtually this whole minute. Yeah, almost almost a whole minute and a half went by with this fight on the inside. Juarez again definitely landing a cleaner, cleaner shots, but again, it's giving Booth his best chance. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Level change overhand after he stepped back and disengaged for a minute. Like, bro, I don't, why are you not doing more of that, man? Why are you why are you going into something else when you were already winning every round doing doing what you was doing? Looks like he's trying to focus a little bit more on the body, though. Uh, clearly, them headshots not phasing booth too much so that's a smart plan to work on the body but it's definitely not smart to stay on the inside but you know unless something crazy happens it's another Juarez round Nice little weave to the lead leg, three. Good test so far for the youngin. You talking about Juarez? Juarez, I think he, I think he like 14 to two. Yeah, 14 and two, five knockouts. He is only 24 years old. He lose to. He lost to oh, Rancis Bartholomew and Rivera. Who was Rivera? All oh, Rivera. Hmm. Both of them majority decision losses, though. So close fights. Nice overhand. And again, he's trying to be a look a little too cute. A little too cute right now, but it is what it is, man. He figures buddy can't hurt him. I don't know. Mm. Big backhand from Booth right there. Another one. I, I'm telling you, huh? Nice overhand from Juarez. Making this shit a little more competitive than it needs to be. And a nice double uh, right hand from Juarez. Yeah. Stabbed to, or, or uh, crossed to the body as uh, Booth turned. Southpaw. 
I like that punch over the stab if it's an uh, open stance. All right. Finally gave up that inside shit and clinched. Great. Another clinch. Backed out of it. A little frame backhand. Uh, double backhand. Definitely trying to work on that body, though. Hmm. Popped his head back up to the A slot to land at three, but popped his head back up to the A slot, so got counter. Nice step around jab. Good job holding the phone, even though some of that three got through. Power jab, clean. Yeah, both switching stances. He got hit with a three piece. Switching stances, got hit with another hook. Close distance, though, got some punches off. Pro Box kicking off a big week of boxing. That's a fact. Been making it a habit to watch these live film studies on Patreon. Yeah, man. A lot of gems in there. Um, I mean, shit, even if you especially a betting viz, bro, even if, you, um, if you're not betting, you know, it's, it's pretty – cool to watch because again you know watching these undercard fighters and you know pro box fighters i get to talk about a lot more mistakes so the parlay or the uh over under on this was eight and a half um definitely took the over Looks like it's headed that way, but again, one punch could turn the shit around. One punch could definitely lose that bread. We'll see though, but it looks like it's, it's decent. Oh, is that fight at 140? the actual let's go home let's go sports look at these live numbers um where is that Yeah, again, surprise the uh, DraftKings don't have this in game, man. <laughs> Frame backhand. Nice little uh, five two lands for Juarez. Look like both of them slowing down just a bit, especially Clarence Bull.
<laughs> triple backhand from Juarez. But none of them really had steam on it, but circled around him to the left as he landed all three. Interesting move from uh, <laughs> Clarence Booth, uh, like a forward shift, half jab type deal. Next around. Robert Garcia said 138 catch weight because. Oh, yeah, I hate Man, DraftKings tripping, man. I'm disappointed. Three piece ending with a with an overhand knock the sweat off Clarence Booth's head. What the hell? Wow. Mm. Out the clinch with a cross. Did the same. Leaping three got around a guard. Again, Booth's a tough dude. Juarez don't got too much pop. Walking through a lot of these shots, man. He's not doing shit, but he's walking through the shots. Again, like I said from the beginning, Juarez could box, man. Not bad at all. A few little mistakes here and there, but generally he could box. All ranges. Mm, nice little jab to three up top. A stab jab. Came back up, changed levels again. Three up top. Nice. Three piece again. Three, four, overhand. Mm. Clarence Booth tried to step around on him. Good defensive awareness and responsibility. Man, it's really just uh, schooling right now. Juarez pretty successful shutting down everything Clarence Booth has to offer and kind of landing at will. CMP is on YouTube, man. Go to ProBox TV. What's good with you, bro? He hit Booth clean, facts. What was that, round eight?
Nice little lateral trap from uh, Juarez right there. Stepped around to his left. Uh oh, it's Booth hurt. Had, oh, you better watch out, Juarez. God damn, that was a vicious three he hit, hit you back with. Oh, uh, he ain't that hurt. Mm, backhand, single high shield. <laughs> Switch southpaw, put up that single high shield, got cracked with that backhand. Fuck up on the trajectory of it, trying to block it. Same deal. Hit with a cross straight up the middle this time. Juarez switching it up, mm, leaping three lands. All right, well, congratulations on everybody that bet the over with me. That just passed up. Got that in the bag. Let's see if Booth lasts uh, the whole fight, though. I expect him to. Been a while since I seen Nicholas Walters since he beat Loma or since he got beat by Loma. Ooh, big three. I don't think Walt, uh, Booth could see that joint either. I, shit, I think it's a way um, um, Juarez could stop him right here. He start on that level change, land a good overhand, and then let his hands go enough. I think the ref. The ref might get involved. Booth taking a lot of clean shots. He's taking a lot of clean shots throughout the fight. Well, will he do it? Probably not. That's why I bet the decision. Booth trying to let his hands go. Not really working, but hey, I like the effort. Juarez looking a bit gassed, but it is round 10 in a 10 round fight. Lands that overhand on the inside, though. This might be the only round booth, probably, probably a win. Mm -hmm. Well, can't get hit clean too much, though.
definitely outworking Juarez easily and landing some shots every now and then. Juarez choosing to go to war now. Crazy. Crazy as hell. Got an easy dub, man. Don't get cracked by something. They're landing on each other back and forth now, like it's a, like it was a close fight. It's that fan excitement, I guess. So that blood and guts fan excitement. Oh, Juarez knocks Booth down. Can he get up? No, he got up pretty easily, actually. He's got 35 seconds to work. Will he do it? No, oh, he knocked him down again. He gets up kind of wobbly. Will he do it? Is he quitting? Is he quitting? 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Clinch, dude. Clinch. Clinch, clinch! Oh, right, he's gonna he's gonna survive. Oh shit, that was close. <laughs> All right, bet got both my bets, man. That was close as shit. <laughs> Tried to take my money in the last thirty seconds of the fight. Mm, mm, mm. Shout out to everybody that bet decision, man. It was exciting, though. Appreciate a little clarity. Yeah, um, it's that um, it's that uh, Sriracha Castillo fight. That's gonna be the one. That's gonna be the one, man. I expect a knockout from somebody. A lot of refs would have stopped. Yeah, that's I agree. I mean, you get Tony Weeks in there. Yeah, that shit would have been over with. But I, I already got the uh, over on the eight and a half. But I would have lost my uh, decision bet. But nah, that's a fact though. Okay, we got almost 7,000 people watching Pro Box. Not bad. Not bad for the first uh, fight on the card. Should be a whole hell of a lot more. I mean, I you know, people... People claim to love boxing, but you know they don't. They don't watch it when it's free on TV. It's weird to me. A lot of these more, a lot of these people love fighters, not boxing. I estimated it's about you know two hundred in between two hundred and three hundred thousand you know diehard boxing fans, and the rest just pretty much lovers of fighters or casuals that should that number might be way below that
Juarez with the UD. Good fight from Clarence Booth. Facts, yeah, fanboys, yeah. No, I mean, I think, yeah, I think it's your diehards, it's your fanboys, and then it's your casuals. But, you know, again, how many, I, I like, uh, shit, what's y'all best guess? How many diehard boxing fans are there, really? I want to hear what y'all, or I want to see what y'all say about it. Like I said, I said 200, 200 to 300,000, but I might be way off. It might be way below that. It might be less, maybe 100,000 true fans and the rest of fanboys hoping, hopping from fighter to fighter. I hear you. I hear you. 150,000. Fight game was good. Uh, yeah, I mean, could be, man. Could be. And at the, uh, I mean, so I, I want to hear what y'all got to say, but then my my other question is, where they at, man? Why they not watching free fights on YouTube? I understand it's Wednesday night. You know, people got shit to do during the week, but damn, man. So prime time. I mean, you know, the purpose of primetime TV is the networks know that most people are going to be at home. This is on at primetime. Where are the true boxing fans at? Where the, where the diehards at? 60% of them are in Mexico and the UK. Work, that's damn, everybody, everybody got the graveyard, the nighttime shift. <laughs> I mean, it's a hundred. So you said PBC. You said a hundred thousand. It's six point six k watching this free shit on YouTube. That's a lot of nighttime shifts. Most are watching on YouTube, but some watch on the app or through freebie. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. So most are watching on YouTube. That's six point six. Boxing is coming back slowly. Agree, but not in America. I think it's going away. <laughs> Hoodie AP says, shit, I'm at work. Yeah, I feel you. See, that's a diehard. <laughs> Crazy, it's only 6.6 .6 watching. Yeah, man. Crazy to me. They forgetting that fights are on. That's a possibility. We'll hold it down for now, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna be here. Crowd at the event too. Yeah, nah, I don't. It might be. It might be a hundred. There might be hundreds of people in there. It's a very small venue. I mean, shit. I see the pro box sign to the right. That's the end of that side. I see a wall on that side that they just zoomed into. Yeah, it's not. That's that's a very small venue. Never fold. It was good. Big time at Romero versus Cruz. Okay. Robert, what up, man? What's 
Yeah. So, it says, yo, a lot of people over 30, 35 don't mess with YouTube at all. Younger fans follow fighters and big networks. Uh, 30, 35, that's too young, bro. <laughs> 30, 35 is too young. YouTube, YouTube, um, uh, YouTube is huge now, right? But bro, my, coach is 50. my coach is 50 and he still watch. he that's where he watched most of the fights. Well, yeah, well, it was shit. I'm 39, bro, and I grew up off YouTube, bro. I mean, yeah. I, you know, through my, through my, um, I think it, YouTube started in what? Or no, YouTube started like right when I got to be an adult. Yeah. I think I think it started in what, like 2007? Yeah, yeah. It was like right around the time I got to be an, I, I, I became an adult, bro. I, shit, I, I watch YouTube all the time, especially uh, especially back, back around 2010, 2011. So it ain't 3035, bro. That's the shit. That, they that's nine to oh or whatever, uh four to nine years younger than me. And I love YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is I love I love let me let me let me get that straight. I love YouTube as a uh as a as a person looking for videos. I don't love YouTube as a content creator. This shit is Yeah, it's like an archive. Yeah, this shit is trash. I love YouTube as a search engine. Because mm -hmm. that's all it really is. Boxing would be better with less fanboys. Eh, nah, we need we need as many people we can get, bro. I mean, fanboys included. Facts the, the fanboys. I man, I don't I understand like y'all like the boxing purists, but the fanboys like do provide some entertainment. <laughs> In my opinion, I think boxing harder to get into than other sports. There's so much small actions that's happening at one time. I think it's hard for most people to get into boxing. So people don't pay attention to them small actions, bro. <laughs> they have no clue that there's small actions happening. They just they see punches landed, punches thrown. You know what I mean? They don't they don't really see nothing else. Facts. So I mean they're attracted to that. Yeah, people don't people don't know that shit is going on. In fact, nobody, not even me. I mean, before before I was schooled on it, I I ain't I I had no clue. Everybody be sounding like to you, Fima Lopez Senior. Knock him out already. Right. All I do is talk about a fighter is the best, and if you can't see that, then you're either racist or a hater. Yeah, that's just weird. Two thousand five, first YouTube video. How many views it got, Ezekiel? If I remember it correctly, it's like something about the zoo. Somebody going to the zoo. To work. All right, this is the fight, man. I need look, if anything, so I actually bet I bet um Sriracha KO, but but literally look, so my reasoning was because he's more technically solid than the other guy. He he has a bit more defensive responsibility, but this should end in a knockout, and I needed to end in a knockout. I'll pick the uh I'll pick the under on this joint. I think it's under eight and a half. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, under eight and a half is pretty good for an under. Yeah, in the 10 round fight. So yeah. This is one of the dudes who made YouTube post it. Oh, okay. All right, let's get it. This shit should be action. Gonna jump. Mm -hmm. I'm not overly concerned about my uh, Sriracha bet, but I am concerned about that under because that's that's what I got my parlays at, which is way bigger money. 
think Castillo got a reach advantage. His arms look much For longer. sure. For sure. But he, he does all types of shit and ends up in terrible positions, then doesn't put his hands up. So oh my goodness. What his was lack that? of defensive responsibility. But not, well, Sriracha stays on the outside, which he won't. Uh, yeah, Castillo might have that advantage for sure. Yeah, I did. I did. I did not like that job to the body I could steal through. He fell in with it a little bit. See how he dropped that backhand? No step back. Oh yeah. Well, what's your time stamp? One forty-eight. Damn. You watching on YouTube? Yeah. A terrible idea freezing like that from Sriracha. Damn. Motherfucker just stood like a statue for a second. Got beat on temporarily. Uh oh. First knockdown? Nah. I thought he was about to get knocked down. So, Roger, you better do something, bro. Man, to steal. Uh, I don't know about Sriracha. Yeah, uh, he ain't looking the same, honestly. He's not looking near. It's the first round. That was a low blow. But uh, it's the first round, but he's not looking nearly as aggressive as he uh, as he has in other fights. It wasn't super low. On the bottom of that line. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was low. So, is Sriracha like a mid range fighter? Yeah. I mean, can't you tell, fam? Constant high guard. Yeah, like, kind of look like Oscar Valdez a little bit. I mean, he can still jab, though. Yeah, we'll see. Says Sriracha, a slow starter. Yeah, I think I looked at – Um, I think I looked at – right, so, well, first of all, <laughs> it's not like these are extensive uh, film studies making these bets. I, I might spend 10 to 20 minutes on, on each fight, period, which is a far cry from what, <laughs> from what we actually do here. <laughs> um shit if i'm making a film study edit you know for an upcoming big fight then i should i probably watch i'll probably watch at least at least three fights if it's available to watch you know what i'm saying if it makes sense uh -huh. which obviously takes longer than 10 to 20 minutes but but um yeah, shit like he's a slow starter, I may not notice in that 10 to 20 minutes. Mm, nice three from Sriracha. He's definitely got a close distance. Um, it was a good start with the stab jabs. All right, then he level changed, came back upstairs, and the distance was closed. Nice counter four and three. Okay, now, now we're getting a little active. Castillo's just giving up his reach. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. He'll lean in and get stuck in that high guard, or he'll let Sriracha uh, – Level change in, get stuck in a high guard. Every time Sriracha stab jabs, all he does is 
tuck and lean or tuck and bend down. Mm-hmm. So Rocks was definitely going to have that stab jab overhand available to him. He keeps doing that. But either way, uh, while he's tugging and in that guard and in, in that high guard bent down, shit, Sriracha could step right on the inside, let go of combination. Mm-hmm. He, he's not controlling distance. He can just walk in. Now that jab slowly going away, ain't it? Mm-hmm. I, I feel like most fighters, like when I fight, I can I can kind of um tell when a pace change would, you know, be advantageous. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, in one of these sequences where Castillo just flashes the high guard, if he ups the pace, he'd get off on him, like, really good. Mm, nice little inside uppercut. Okay, nice three from uh, Castillo. Yeah, get this action going. Need one of y'all to fall. <laughs> Preferably Castillo, but who cares? Oh, big, big three from Castillo. Mm. Sriracha pulling up, hand down. Are oh, they fighting now? Yeah, they fighting now. Hey, let's get it. I love it. Castillo got a little bit of an inside game. He used uh, some step arounds. <clears throat> Not many controls, but. That stab jack going to work. If, bro, if he finally does, if he knows how to turn to a stab jab overhand, it's going to work. Castillo's hand be elsewhere every single time. Mm-hmm. Man, it's like Castillo. The second half of the fight, he got he turned it. He turned. He turned it up. Oh, you stay tapping now, fresh. I see. You. Over 313 million views. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, typically, so, I mean, how the YouTube shit works now. So uh, if the video is longer than eight minutes and he has uh, mid-roll ads in it, uh, he could probably, depending on the subject, which the zoo probably isn't a very... Uh, lucrative subject but he could have he could probably make from um from like three bucks to about bro uh, chance yeah, that video. per thousand view that per video thousand. only 19 seconds bro you said what i said the video is only 19 seconds oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he probably, I mean, he probably making good 50 cent per thousand view. Yeah. But still, that's still a lot of money. Yeah. Like 150 grand. Come on now, stop disengaging, man. Get active. <laughs> Sriracha need to cut off the ring though pretty good right now. Oh, nice, nice three of the body. Cutting off the ring. What's your time stamp? 150. Oh damn. What's yours? 130. Oh my goodness, bro. This make no sense. I don't know why it's lagging like this. Nah, I understood what you were saying, bro. I understand he's the founder. Or one of the founders. Okay, nice double uppercut on the inside from uh, Sriracha. Mmm, one, two. Yeah, get active.
Step in there. There you go. <laughs> oh, backhand uppercut. Nice shot. Yeah, lead hand uppercut. He's killing him with these uppercuts. Uh-huh. Try to start switching head slides on the inside. Default into that high guard, get blasted with these uppercuts. And them hooks ain't got no leverage on him that he's throwing back. It make me feel better if somebody gets hurt <laughs> by one of these shots. <laughs> Just a little hurt. I'm not asking for the knockout yet. Just, you know, hurt somebody. Somebody. Solid things to come. Jake Jones was good. Put out the uh, link for y'all. Just in case you want to pop up. Yeah, bro. Jim's always ahead of everybody. I don't know. You got like that. No, I do. Oh, that. not always. <clears throat> bro, the only person you don't be ahead of is, uh, I think, Joey or Jacob. Shit, it's both of them. Yeah. Depending on what the event's on. Did Sriracha take advantage of that stab overhand yet? No, he uh, tried it right there. Hmm, <clears throat> nice body shot. Nice body shot from Castillo. Sriracha ain't look like he liked that shit. This man's hand is not up, bro. Stab over him. Oh, he's dropping it for you. Hmm. Ugly body shot turning him. Good job holding from uh Sriracha right there. That was smart. Some action here. Still got that hesitant. He don't even he, he won't even attack him while he's frozen. Okay. Put that rope work in. Okay. Yeah, that rep. Let him work. Oh, nice turn, Professor. I'm, I'm behind you. I know. I just, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get that inside work in. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, you heard him, bro. You heard him with that left or that right hook. Uh, and then you back off. Oh, oh, I just saw it. Mm. Had him a little wobbly. Yeah. And then he backed off and stopped off. I mean, I don't know. There go another right hook at the end of the round. I was almost uh 
who did Canelo fight? James Kirkland. When he threw that hook and he got dropped with the counter hook. I think it may go the distance, James. Uh, stop hating. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Box Ring Girls got cake. I peeped that. Didn't want to say nothing. Uh, Jim's has that direct connect to all these boxing promotional companies and channels. Sure, I do. Yeah, that's why they constantly trying to give me copyright strikes. Uh, still spending too much time adjusting his trunks, pissing me off. I have noticed that. What was the under? What was the odds on the under? Or the, I mean, over under is eight and a half. The odds on the under, let me see. It was they tripping, not showing me my bets. It's my own. Um, uh, the odds on the under is plus 160. Man, they always choose the nastiest waters for these corners. Pure life Aquafina and Dasani is disgusting. This is definitely a personal preference. Uh, thanks for sharing your opinion. <laughs> well, Castillo got on his movement, huh? get cracked in yeah I go oh big left hand go to work Oh, super low blow. How the ref missed that one. Come on, bro. You got to work to the inside, man. Stop trying to load up these fucking haymakers. Somebody going night night. Let's hope so, knockdown, before uh, a minute 30 in round nine. Jake says, man, it's all water, bro. Maybe adding preservatives and all of that mineral and stuff, bro. It tastes different. Still gassing. Well, he definitely switched up tactics. I mean, I, you know, it seemed like a decent idea, but he was getting touched up using lateral movement, too. It looks like he's an anti clincher. Like, right. I, well, when you use lateral movement, your man still closed distance, bro. What you, what you gonna do? Sit there in a high guard? Clinch, I mean, the clinch and turn would be my advice, but we'll see how this shit shape out. I 
They still throwing good bombs though, so gives me some hope. Mm, nice little one too. There's a clinch, but that was Sriracha that initiated that clinch. All right, there's the stab. Bro, when you finally going to complete this shit, man? Okay, nice little, nice little uh, weave into that little combination. But, mm, wow. Just drop your lead hand, let him hit, hit you with that uh, four. Okay, go to work. Nice little setup for that jab. Cut that ring off. All right. Yeah, go to work. Yeah, I definitely see what you're talking about. Sriracha being more technically sound, though. Mm -hmm. Nice little weave. He actually weaved the cross and uh, stuck on the inside with a little combination. Go to work, man. Hmm, another big right hand, bro. You wobbled him again, bro. He definitely took a extra little weird step right there. I don't think um Sriracha not recognizing his, his successes as much as he should. I think he he slowing right hand down. Only the finest Fiji water is to be poured on my head. Gotcha. Fiji water is good water. Tried to stab jab overhand, but did it in a place where he had room to move. And he's and he's high guard and protecting himself now. He's not a uh, he's not dropping that lead hand anymore. Somebody got to know they down on the cars and go to work here, man. Seen again. Hmm. Ah, that backhand just missed the sweet spot from Sriracha.
again, weaving under that cross, coming up with that two points combination. Well, now I'm running out of time, fellas. Oh, shit, I ain't I'm doing nothing. Hey, you got him in the corner, go to work. Hmm, that was a nice step around from uh, Castillo. He couldn't really do shit with it, but that was actually beautiful. Mm -hmm. Coach Bermudez, what's good, bro? How are you? It's the Axe Man, yes. The Axe Man is fighting. Hmm, nice, nice cross. Counter cross from uh Castillo to start the round off. Hmm, nice jab too. Yeah, somebody need to get knocked out. This round. I ain't trying to wait till the next round with it. Yeah, it ain't looking like it. <laughs> It's like I'm gonna lose that bet. Yeah, with with fights like these, if the pace don't change, it's I think it's less and less probable for there to be a knockout. Yeah, it's uh, I think um, I got Sriracha up slightly, but it's not you know, it definitely ain't no blowout either way. Um, so is there? Like, you know, perhaps both fighters think they're winning. So, you know, why would they change up? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's, I think it's just the mm, three, two. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh. Okay. All right, now we got 9.2K watching. Moving up. That's pretty good viewership. Nice body shot from Steel.
Yeah, they gonna, they gonna mess up the church's money. Mm-mm-mm. Hope he pulls a Raymond Ford. Well, that would be nice, but now nah, I'd rather win this uh win this uh under because that's in a parlay. That's what made the parlay lucrative. But that shit don't look like it's gonna happen. I bet a few thousand pour in for the main event. Uh we'll see. We'll see. I mean, a lot of people remember the X Men. The ring girls are the ones definitely winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, so the only thing is about all right, this. All right, so say both of them think they're winning. The the lack of the change of pace though means neither one of them, neither one of them thinks it's close. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the bias. I don't know. I mean that's kind of on the corner though. Can't really assess a fight while you, unless you get somebody getting dominated. About to hear the death of my parlay in three, two, one. It's dead. Man, I need. I wish Sriracha would stop committing when he's cutting off the ring with that, um, with that stab, because it's just giving him an escape route to like uh, steal. It's like, so you know, wish he what? He he's commanding on every when he's he's trying to cut off the ring. He's command with every shot when he has him where he thinks he has him, but Castillo just escapes to the other side. And yeah. I just wish I wish he would like pro like not commit uh, fully. Because then he forces and then he got to reset. Yeah, mm-hmm. like like he did. At, well, I'm behind. I'm behind you, but like he did at uh, 34 seconds. Pause. Oh yeah, pause. oh my god, bro. Yeah, pause. Was Walters that popular? Uh, I, I didn't think so, but you know, people know his name. Certain folks, diehards. You did be uh, down there. This might be a draw. It, it did get, I mean, it does seem close. 
Again, I ha- I had Sriracha up slightly, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Neither one of them really uh, pulled away from the other. I wasn't exactly scoring it round for round either. Sriracha is definitely one of the crowns so far. Yeah, Castillo had that uh, cross to the body the whole time. Sriracha keeps turning with his high guard and shit. But then, you know, Castillo keeps defaulting to that high guard near the ropes, letting uh, Sriracha work. So, mm-hmm. hmm. Nice little four that landed in that uh, flurry right there for Sorajo. I think this is Sorajo's best round, honestly. Well, one of his best. He cut the ring off a lot better this round. Motherfucker went 12. Ain't nobody even dropped. God damn it. Yeah, I think the best moment was when uh, Sriracha caught him with that counter hook. And like, what, the fourth or something? Yeah, the scorecard is going to be interesting on this one. Who knows? I would say, again, I, I would lean slightly towards Sriracha, but, again, I wasn't scoring it round by round. Oh, yeah, it was round four where he landed that hook. Sounds like commentary thinks uh, Sriracha. Mm-hmm. It's 
Twelve threes is good. Let's see. Gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for these Warriors. Could it be a draw? And after 10 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Wayne scores this about 98 to 92 wow. in favor of Starling Castillo. Wow. Goodness. Judge Tito Wilgo scores this about 96. To 94 in favor of Jesus Saracho. Sound like a like draw energy. And Judge Brandon Jackson shows this about 99 to 91. What? What? Bro, all right, man. We just watched Bro, some 90, 99, 91? We just watched some bullshit. <laughs> 98, 92, and 99, 91? Are you fucking Yo, kidding? what? Yeah, we just watched some. Bro, are they really blind? Quick. Are they blind? Wow. 99-91 is crazy. Round four and round ten was definitely Sriracha. That shit is nuts, man. <laughs> I, I Wow. Mm. Uh, you know, any... <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to explain that type of shit, bro. Ninety nine, ninety one. How many rounds? Ninety eight, ninety two, ninety. Yeah, that's one round, and ninety eight, ninety two is two rounds. I mean, yeah, that, it's hard to explain that type of shit, man. I don't know. So I mean, just the sure fact that the one judge sees it ninety six, ninety four the other way, and then one guy got a ninety nine, ninety one. Yeah, that's that's absurd. I like, bro, that shit is. These niggas, they, they really need to. Uh, they really need to to educate these dudes a, a lot more about how to score fights. You should never have that type of disparity, bro. Ninety six, ninety four, one guy, and ninety nine, ninety one, the other guy. Like, bro, that shit doesn't. Yeah, bro. I mean, it just it just works to confuse the shit out of fans, man. Like, it, I mean, it confuses the shit out of me. Like, bro, what what are we scoring, man? <laughs> What what is what is the scoring criteria, bro? You look at these scorecards, you would think the the guy that scored in ninety six ninety four was tweaking. But it's, right, that's what you would think. That's what you would think. But it was that type of fight. I, but ninety nine ninety one, man. I yeah, that shit is. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> it is what it is, though, bro. I, we, boxing definitely got a problem for sure. Bro, they need some like uh, I don't even know. They need to they need to start letting the ref score again. Uh, they I don't know what they need to do, man. I, they just need to explain. They need to explain concretely the scoring criteria, and stick to it. And have every have every judge comply and stick to that fucking criteria, man. There's, again, there's no way she had 96, 94, Sriracha, and then 99, 91, Castillo. Like that don't that don't make no fucking sense. Like Sriracha clearly run one two rounds at least too. Like that's that's insane. I mean, from what I saw, I. You won more than two rounds, in my opinion, but it is what it is, man. Yeah, I mean, he won more. I'm just it. saying two was clear, like clear Sriracha. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I think judges should also explain the perspective on their scores. I, I mean, what, what are the – Oh, they already on to the next fight. Shit, bro. Motherfuckers don't even look shocked about it. Like, uh, man, that shit nuts. Well, again, it, it just don't make no sense, Ben. I mean...
Don't make no sense at all. Like the, they can't be judging on the same criteria to have that much of a, a difference in scorecards. So clearly the judges themselves aren't on the same page. Mm -hmm. They definitely need to get on the same page. It made me, it made me, you know, it had been less uh, bothersome if everybody had it wide for uh, Castillo. Cause all right, so all right, maybe, maybe we're missing something like, all right, so I bet we got the scoring criteria wrong, but, to have it both ways like that, uh, yeah. Honestly, the criteria should be numbered on the score sheet in terms of uh, in terms of weight. What do you mean? Like, uh, so first and foremost, you know, they look for clean and effective punches. And then secondly, you know, you look for um, uh, what ring generalship, something like like, and that's and that the criteria is listed on the score sheet in terms of importance. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or it just should be known. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Also, I got I got Bevo in that uh, in the Baturbia Bevo fight. I got Bevo. I hate you. I do feel like Baturbia got a good puncher's chance, but. I feel like he won't have enough moments in order to stop Beagle. I think Benavidez loses against anyone, any any of the two that wins that fight. I don't even understand the comparison. I mean, well, how about Anthony Yard? How about Callum Smith? How about Aziz and Boatzies? And you know what I mean? Like, why are we why are we even giving why are we giving Baturbia the top of the division? I mean not Baturbia, but why are we giving uh Benavita as a top of the division? Yeah. Does Pro Box pay Tim to come up there? Bro, why else would he be there? <laughs> For the love of the game. Hell no. <laughs> I mean, he come up here for free. I mean, that's because that's my guy, but I mean, shit, I, yeah, he ain't going to. Nah, man. If there's if there's generally if there's money being made, he's in it to make some money. Mm -hmm, I hear you. Fam, I don't do this shit for the I mean I do it for the love of the game, but <laughs> it definitely gotta lead to some income. This shit takes too much time. Mm -hmm. And now shit, it's just a straight business. I mean, this is all I do now. So so it's definitely for, for profit for sure. Yeah, but you you definitely generous with the um amount of content to pay ratio, what you request for it. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean I wanted to make it affordable for sure. That's the love part. Mm -hmm. Damn. Robert? No, my bad. I'm gonna get up. You can hear the train. 
She lit right next door to the tracks, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's literally it's literally like fifty feet north. I mean, guys. Current criteria just leaves far too much interpretation. I mean, clearly. Vazic versus Benavidez. Uh, I, bro, I, I mean, I think um, Vazic has has spent too much time fighting um, non top level competition. So I'm not sure how he's going to look against Benavidez. Benavidez fans are starting to reach that Boots Spence Crawford level of annoying. <laughs> They think that motherfucker will crosswalk through everybody up to heavyweight, sure. Until he gets his head torn off for it. Clean punching, effective aggressiveness, ring generalship, defense, and money in my pocket. Ah, that's the judge's criteria. Shit. Might have to put that money first. <laughs> criteria is too subjective. It's not supposed to be, man. 90% of it's supposed to be clean, effective punching. Effective aggressiveness means there's clean, effective punching. So that's kind of the same shit. The only other one is, is uh, ring generalship. Who's deciding when and where the action takes place? All right, Adorno Walters came on. Go, oh, Case. Um, I didn't bet on this fight straight up, so <clears throat> I have no clue what Walters looked like. Couldn't even find film with <clears throat> of the two fights he had in 2023. They were against opponents. Nice double jab from Walters right there, though. Another jab. I do like Walters' uh, feet placement. Yeah. Even though he kind of got caught. He's, he's going to have to keep being careful closing distance, though, due to where he has his lead hand. Mm -hmm. um, if he steps in any closer with that lead hand where it's at okay now he raised it to a high guard now it's back to his traditional guard but uh he's stepping in a bit close with that hand so you look for a straight right with just a lead right hand from adorno at some point mm -hmm. we'll see or maybe walters would just get you know Control distance properly, even coming. So I was explaining this to somebody on Patreon. You control distance coming forward. You don't have to step in the range coming forward just because dude is backing up. Don't mean you got to step into equal positioning to match him. I mean, you could you could keep it outside range. Mm -hmm. Which now Walters is doing more i mean most of the time he is but sometimes he's stepping a little too close still got that traditional guard so he still has got still has that opening to his for the right hand but he's doing a good job of jabbing he's not doing a good job cutting the ring though yeah he's just following them and then his his Follow feet is gone yeah It's also a lot of single mid-range jabs too, though. So um, um, he's going to want to faint a little bit more as well. Nice counter jab from Adorno. Surprised. Uh, Surprised we didn't see at least one lead right hand in there. Mm 
No, nah, Walters fought twice in 2023. Boxing doesn't have a tiered system with the criteria. Uh, they don't. I mean, but it's boxing though, so they don't say it plainly. I don't think. But I mean, I think everybody understands that obviously punching is what we got to score first in boxing, <laughs> clean, effective punches. So uh, that's the that is, you know, hit and not get hit is literally boxing. So if, if ain't nobody, if you're not scoring hitting first, then then we're not really scoring boxing. So I think every judge definitely understands that for sure. But that's just common sense part. But the rest of it, I mean, I like uh, Jake was saying in the chat, I, you know, shit is up for <clears throat> up for interpretation, bro. And you know, like Hood said, it's subjective. Even even saying effective punching and how they uh, how they try to how they try to define that like so judges actually look for you know effective punching as if the punch causes something like causes a wobble or causes causes a head to snap back or causes a, you know what I mean shit like that like that. Which which doesn't necessarily entail that that uh you know a solid punch landed like sometimes motherfucker have a good poker face, but it could still be a hard ass punch that landed where his head didn't snap back, where he didn't wobble. But a judge is still scored the the wobble the wobble dude, you know the shot that landed on him higher, because it actually had an effect. So even that in itself is subjective. Man, Walter is just kind of pissing me off. Cause he, he he just following them like I. There there should be a seminar to teach every fighter how to call up the ring, like yeah, it should not be. Hey, so literally, all he really has to do is take a right step. Yeah. <laughs> And he's just not doing it. It's, everything's linear. Everything's straightforward. And he's even stepping off to the left slightly. For what reason? I'm not sure. But again, the, why Adorno hasn't tried to exploit that with his backhand, I don't know. I think, I think he concerned about his face is already red just from the jab i don't think adorno want to commit to anything and then he his jab is not even it's it's a timid jab I mean, honestly, if if Walters knew how to walk Adorno down correctly, I don't think Adorno could keep him off of just from the size disparity and the power difference. Mm -hmm. Boxing Nick, it's on YouTube, Pro Box TV YouTube channel. Yeah, I hear you, B. Yeah, so at this point, Nicholas Walters is definitely 
uh, purposefully stepping left. Yep. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, since Adorno ain't really doing shit, I mean, who, you know, Nicholas Walters throwing more punches, landing more punches. I, I would say he won both rounds one and two. Oh, yeah, he definitely, yeah, he definitely won the rounds. Literally with just a jab, honestly. Mm -hmm. Nice counter jab from Adorno. Who said that in a comment session? Yeah, uh, uh, Molly, uh, Adorno definitely is cross stepping left. But um, Walters keeps taking himself out of position to land any type of overhand or any type of backhand to catch him because he's stepping left. He's giving Adorno the out to his to Adorno's left. Man, this fight just gonna be a bunch of jabs. Yeah, this shit whack so far, honestly. Somebody gotta switch up something. Let's see who does it first. I don't know if Walter realized that he's hurting him with just the jab. Look at his face. Uh, a jab will fuck your face up. Okay, there's a there's a straight right from uh Walters. Okay, Dorno comes forward, tries to throw a combination, misses most of it. Okay, a little check hook from Adorno. All right, now we got a little bit more action. But bro, I wish he would give up this step and left shit, bro. I man, step right, cut off the goddamn ring, man. I mean, if I'm a Dorno, I'm just I'm just gonna throw the right hand because he's stepping to he's stepping in the line for your, uh, your of the backhand. All right, let's see where we at. Let's see if y'all was right about this. Uh, nope. Still 9.9K watching. It didn't change. Or it changed about by 300 people. Double jab, high load, and a hook to the body from Walters. Decent little lever shot. All right, now he's just standing there. He ain't moving nowhere, Walt. Just go ahead. Yeah, go to work. Okay, now we get in action. Nice liver shot at the end of that. Another one. Yeah, that was a little low, though. All 
Man, if I can recall, shit, I think Walters was the underdog. Hmm, nice liver shot from Adorno right there and a little overhand backing up. Bruh, ain't no way Adorno was a minus 600. Well, who, I mean, who was to say better? You know what I mean? If you couldn't, you couldn't watch Nicholas Walter's last couple fights in 2023 because it was just against opponents and he'd been gone for whatever, five, six years, then, hey, it is what it is. Hmm. All right. Backhand got got behind the gloves for Walters right there. That was a nice shot. Nice one-two from Adorno. Action picking up in spots. It's still not um nobody has a rhythm yet, though. That's for sure. Adorno coming forward a little bit. Mm, Dorno let his hands go in combinations. Nice flurry at the end of the round for Adorno. Might have might have stole it for him. Walters is plus three hundred on MGM. Yeah, I knew he was the underdog. I don't know. know. With these judges, I'm not taking that. Oh. Well, I mean, it's a different set of judges, but still, I, bro, I I don't want nothing to go to the scorecards nowadays. I mean, it's just, I mean, like we just saw, bro, it's, it's too hard to tell, man. But now you know, bro, if you think it's anywhere near a close fight, you better, you better go all out. Yeah. Cause that's the crazy part. 99-91. Shit, he could have won the last three rounds and still lost. At that point, I don't even think you could win. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think <laughs> it just it just wasn't gonna happen for uh Sriracha in that last fight. He could have clearly won the last three rounds and still lost that fight. Like, bro, I that shit was, that shit's crazy. How the fuck did they have Castillo get such a big lead? Like where where did that shit come from? I don't know. Apparently he dominated the the, the entire fight. That's apparently. <laughs> Distance is definitely closed. And again, Walter still drops that lead hand pretty much at mid range. He's got it down right now. Shit. That's what I'm saying. Why is Adorno not throwing the backhand? <clears throat> yeah, the only time he seems to want to throw it is in some type of combination where he doesn't lead with it. So. And he's just walking around in a high guard now, Walters. Yeah, there you go. They get the body. Mm, nice little one two in the middle. Another thing I learned is that even if an opponent has the high guard, you can still punch through the gloves. It still hurts. Oh, for sure. 
Mm, nice little lee hand uppercut from uh, Adorno. A little counter three lands on that body shot. Again, yeah, Adorno's giving him the body. I mean, the only thing he really wants to throw on the inside consistently is that left hook on a block and shoot, but, but he's giving up his body. Man, I, I, I just can't believe Adorno was the favorite. This is. Uh, well, he probably, I think he won the last round, and he's probably maybe winning this round. I don't know. Well, right? I, but I, I think again, I think, I think from what we just saw, bro, these shits is way too close for anybody to be comfortable. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody really pulling away. Once yeah, again. I got it. Yeah, I got it 3 2 Walters. And that's like best case scenario for Adarno. 3 2 Walters can mean literally anything. <laughs> yeah. That's just 99 91. All right, but 3 2 Walters could be 5 0 Adorno. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go by your scorecard, though, and see how close we are to it. All right, 3 2, 3 2. Man, sometimes with fighters that only move left, I wish th I wish they would force shift towards their right when they throw the right hand just to cut off that angle. It's uh, it'll put them in. It'd be a hell of a risk, but yeah, it's just frustrating though. Like, do something like to, like you see them escaping from the same but, side every time. But again, is Nicholas stepping left? as well so yeah it looks like it's nicholas's game plan to step left along with a nice right hand from uh walters along with adorno's game plan to step left as well Well, Darno ain't doing nothing. Goodness, he is just getting jabbed. Mm, at that. Big overhand he just landed though. I'm beyond pause. I'm behind you. <laughs> oh yeah, I just saw it. Look like uh, Walter's got a cut somewhere. Nice little inside five from Adorno. Yeah, Walter, again, uh, Walter's, uh, he's basically getting an invitation to step inside and um, go to work on uh, Adorno's body paws. Uh, but he's not exactly taking it. Yeah, it seemed like he more comfortable from the outside to his driver. I mean, double jab three, that landed, but I mean, shit, you might as well, Adorno ain't moved. You might as well stay in there, at least put the four on it as well, and then move out. And then do it again until he gets out that high guard. Uh huh. But it's funny that he even moves out because sometimes they just stand there mid range. Like, bro, it's, I mean, <laughs> if he gonna give you, if he gonna give you the body shots in the high guard, and you're gonna take one body shot and move out, 
and then just turn around and stand there mid-range when he's still in the high guard. What the fuck was the point of moving up? Yeah. Body shot, what up, man? What's good, y'all? Yeah, what's good, body shot? Shit, I just got on this fight, and uh, how's it looking so far? I got I got walkers up for it too. Oh, you you got to win that last round. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I, again, I ain't scoring like that, but uh, it's it's uh competitive. It's just I don't know. Oh, it was it was, it was a shutter shutter that cut him, James. It was a what? It was a shoulder that cut him. A shoulder. Yeah, it was like an elbow into a shoulder. Like hmm. he he had his arm out and Walker's ran into it. Oh wow! But now it's competitive. It's just it's not you know exactly the highest levels of skill, but it's competitive. Well, I mean, I already know what these guys. I mean, I've seen them fight before, but Odorno's yes. last fight wasn't wasn't impressive. And, and Walter's last fight on TV was six years ago. <laughs> Didn't he fight like twice last year? Yeah, he did. But shit, okay. where, where's the film? Man? That shit ain't nowhere to be found. I tried. Well, really? You should. What time are you at in the round? 2.12. Damn. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm at 2.17 right now. Man, I'm way behind. I'm at 2.30. Walker slowing down. Bro, he threw that right hand from fucking Mississippi and shit. <laughs> God damn. I don't need to take... He, he, Walker's is taking a round off. I don't need to start working. Mm, nice counter jab from uh, Dorno. Nice jab from the Axe Man. Mm. Up, down. Coming to Jab Fest again. Mm. Yep, jab, jab, jab. Nice jabs landing on each other. Mm hmm. I think Darno got got this round so far. I say Walters one is, is winning this little jab battle, but I feel like some of the counter jabs that Darno landed was a little bit harder. It was, is it uh Walters nose? Yeah, it's his nose. Hmm. Definitely keeps wiping that shit. Nice uppercut. Mm. So, <laughs> there's that one body shot, and then he moves out. <laughs> I just saw <laughs> that wasn't even a hard for the body. He just tapped it. <laughs> Oh, nice back back and forth from Mordorno. Yeah, BJ Freeman was good with you, bro. I got a 4-3 Walters. 4-3. I, I too close. Yeah, so you don't get 99-91 Adorno. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, body shot! You you should have seen these last little scorecards, man. That shit was nuts. Ninety nine, ninety one. That sounds like a. Yeah, I I, I can imagine. Nah, dig this though. One judge had a ninety six, ninety four the other way. Mm hmm. And then another, and then ninety nine, ninety one, on the other side. Like, bro, what I, the? Yeah, they really need to get their shit together, man. Sounds like MMA judging. <laughs> was it close or was it a blowout? I mean, goddamn. <laughs> I 
Well, damn, YouTube is faster than fucking Probox uh, website. What what time are you at right now? Two twenty nine. Okay, so now I'm only ten seconds behind, not thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. YouTube is faster. Man, Adorno is literally standing there. He literally stood there. Mm. What is Walter doing? Is Walter like? Is he like really an offensive fighter? Like his offense doesn't look the best. Is he a counter puncher? No, bro. He got a jab, and that's it. I don't even that's remember. It? You talking about what he was back then? No, I'm just talking about what he is in general, not what he was back then. Like, uh, no, nah, he definitely not. I mean, aside from like an occasional counter jab, you know, we ain't seen a whole lot of counter punching, especially not like in terms of uh, slip counters and no shit like that. Maybe a block and shoot, maybe. Because his footwork looks terrible coming yeah, forward. I mean, obviously, like garbage. he's walking around in circles first of all, um, <laughs> and. And he has no inside game, so like he doesn't seem like a, like he has a good offense. Like he's not a good offensive fighter, so I'm thinking maybe he's a counter puncher. But like, so he's just a jab, jab and grab, or or what? Bro, he, I did he this, man. It looked like <clears throat> it looked like it was both their strategy to step left. So you know what that looks like. And uh, isn't Adorno a counter puncher? Do we have two counter punchers right now? Is this? I mean, you guys are saying Walters isn't a counter puncher. Right, well, I don't I, really not in this fight. I mean, he just – that was a little three he landed, counter three, but then he kept his head on the line, got touched up by that cross. Uh, but um, in this fight, he ain't been much of a counter puncher. That's weird because he keeps like – well, I don't know. Maybe that's just because he doesn't know how to cut the ring off, but like he'll like follow – He'll like follow Adorno, and I know guys for doing that because they don't want to get like hit trying to walk inside, so they're trying to be ready to counter you. But it's just kind of weird the way he's moving. But it, but again, he, he just looks like he's not an offensive fighter. We'll play like this. He ain't nowhere near where he was back in the day. <sighs> nice and he's fucking. <sighs> These, these referees really need to start saying something when these fighters lift their cup up all the way up to their fucking chest. <laughs> Robert. Is... What's up? I, I mean, I, I don't know who. I got a 4-3-1 Walter, so I don't know who on that round. Uh, you got to choose, man. We got to um, compare yours to the judges. You know, the judges the judges ain't doing no 10-10. Uh, I got it. Um... Fuckery Walters. Fuckery Walters. <laughs> that shit gonna be funny, I bet. You gave that last round to Walters? <laughs> yeah, man. Like Adorno did he I he landed a good cross and then a uh a good hook, but like I think Walters uh he just had the he had more activity. He also landed some good shots. <laughs> It's gonna be good. <laughs> that lead five definitely got countered. Yeah, the way the, his footwork is terrible, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's, oh, it's, I see I that just, lead five. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's so, <laughs> bro, that was the slowest lead uppercut I ever seen. Fuck. I mean, Robert, do you throw lead uppercuts? No. Especially coming forward. Yeah, nah. I'll, I'll do it if I could slip your uh, like a, a right hand. If you could slip, right? That man threw a I'll lead. Slip. Yeah. Lead uppercut. I I, I like <laughs> I, I like throwing the, I like throwing a hook. Lee hook instead if they in the high guard. I do the thing where I'll slip and <laughs> basically bring up the uh, the five or step inside with a slip. 
Mm. Nice step around from uh, Walters, but it wasn't smooth enough to get away with it. And he used no type of control, so he still got hit. Yeah, I haven't seen any any of that. Coming up. Walters looked like he was probably beating guys up with his athleticism. Well, he could he could definitely crack. Just his his style, like it's like he looks like he wants to just jab and move sideways. No, he used it used his to be, legs aren't there. He used to rely on his power a lot because he could uh, crack back in the day. But okay, that makes a little more sense. Because I'm wondering how the fuck does this dude get by? He's technically he's not he's not good. I don't see it, but that makes sense. If he's if he's got power, okay. So we got two power punchers, and we don't have no fireworks right now. Is what you're saying? No, Adorno. I don't think Adorno is a power puncher, from what I've seen in this. Adorno week. can crack. Yeah, if you get like he needs his full weight behind the punch though for it to like. So they're not real punchers, is what you're saying? I think Walker's is a puncher because he he was just hurting like earlier. He was just reading Adorno's face from the jab. He just couldn't string any other punches together. But I, I think Adorno, I don't, I don't, I don't see him being. I don't see every, him. every fight I've seen Adorno. He seems like a puncher. So I mean, like it, it look even those little jabs he throws are very, very hard. Like they they look like they have a lot of power on them. Adorno's getting a point minus for sure. Why? He just hit him at the after the yeah. Oh, I, oh I yeah, that. That, that was. Oh. A Yeah, you're gonna. Well, not, lose. Well, you're not gonna that, that's what. That's a knockdown for Walters. This dude, man, this, he he like fucks up every every big fight oh, he gets. Wow. Yeah, he tweaked on that one. What is wrong with you? It's because he was holding his hand, I think. So he wanted to hit him because wasn't he like hold or no? Okay. I don't know. I don't, bro. It looked like. I know. I just watched the replay. Like. He, Nah, he didn't. He must he didn't be frustrated. Like facial expression. Yeah, he didn't like. No, he, he's frustrated. He's just he's yeah. probably frustrated at something. He he can't land or some shit. Yeah, Watchers, Watchers. He did that. He did that. Ooh, that ooh face. And then Adorno saw him and got mad. Some dudes get frustrated when a dude's game plan is just working like on them. Bro, it's not even much of a game plan. All he's doing is jabbing and stepping left and throwing it. Like occasional force to the body and crosses. Yeah, and Adorno yeah, so knows this. What, and still that's what can't confusing do nothing. me too. Because what's Adorno's game plan is not exactly pressure, but yet he's still trying to walk forward in spots in this high guard. Like I, I, I just, I don't know. It's just it, this, and this was way more of an adjustment. Because again, Adorno started off the fight stepping left, so this is his adjustment to like half pressure. When yeah, I joined, I, I mean, he's just taking shots. At him. When I joined, I was um, uh, while I was waiting, I I heard the corner uh, talking, and they told Ordorno, they said, you know, you boxing too much, you need to go out there and and you need to put him backwards. You know, I mean, go, I mean, it's too late. Make now. him go backwards, and uh, no, they said that in like round six. Oh, like right when I got here, like that. Make him go you know, backwards. Some shit like yeah, they said that you need to move forward, man. You know, damn, brother. So they the told him, him the complete opposite of what he was doing. Okay, oh, so he was boxing at first. Up. He's getting touched up in his high guard this round. Yeah, and yep. that's 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 what Adorno does. He he gets touched up in the high guard. He just he like, what is this weird? If if um if Walters knew how to fucking cut the ring off. Stop following Adorno. He does this weird, like I, I want to say, a check step. It's like, it's like a fucking a moonwalk or some shit. This shit looks terrible. Hmm, hell of a low blow. It happened right in front of the ref, too. That was a hell of a low blow. I'm waiting for it. I can't oh, yeah, see. I just seen it from Adorno. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's frustrated, man. 
Clearly, huh? Be frustrated with your corner telling you to get it, get in this stupid ass high. Corner. Nah, he he needs to be frustrated with himself. What 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 has he been? He hasn't been doing nothing. Nah, he definitely lost this round big. Yeah. Like, this is a very clear round. <laughs> All right, seven, seven, three Walters, not seven, including three. the the point deduction. This is just a 50-50, like fest. What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> oh my god! Like a <laughs> dude, you're, you're, I can't. Walters doing his best, uh, Matias impression. Dude, if you you got to do standing in front of you. And you're just letting him like frame and lift you. You could step around him. You could fucking get like you could manipulate something, man. You could do something rather than just stand there. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be putting the pressure, right? Uh, he's mad. <laughs> bro, Adorno is so childish, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he, took, he, he he took he took his corner that he was gonna stand up in. Nah, that's too funny. Well, that was that was literally the blue corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll watch him lose and go cry like a little bitch. I don't know, body shot with these judges. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, if everything is kosher, it should be 97-92 Walters. Including that's including the point deduction. Well, everything that I saw, Walters was winning, but I didn't see the 97, first five rounds. Huh? All right. Yeah, ninety-seven, ninety-two. Everybody says Walters. I didn't see the first five rounds, so I don't know. But if you guys say so, but yeah, sure. no, nah, I'm just going off Robert's scorecard. <laughs> I'm looking at the comments too. Everybody in the comments is saying Walters too, so I ain't just talking about y'all. Everybody, you know what I mean. Yeah, Walter's looking uh, just in his replays. I'm seeing him do a little bit of catch and shoot. <laughs> he looked like kind of a counter puncher. He phoned in a 98-92 Adorno card. All right, we're going to see. <laughs> Judge Funny probably as, uh, got 100 to 90 Adorno. No, what you should do is you should look at that, and you should bet the opposite, and you're the party one. <laughs> Not. Nah. If what I you got to do is fighting? you got to bet the opposite of some of some, some of these dudes predictions. You got to like if you're hearing Robert, you do the opposite. If you hear like guys like Polly Malinaji, you got to bet the other way because those dudes are always wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch it. 98-92 Adorno. Nah, after nah, that bro. point if, deduction. If no, I, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> after that I, point deduction. No way. If I bet on this fight and I bet on Walters and he gets robbed, I'll be pissed. Because right, he's, he's a plus 400. You said you said uh, 97, 92? Yeah, 97, 92. Here is Jim Sorensen. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for these fighters. Moment of truth. And after 10 rounds, the judges have come to a decision. Judge Joe Ware scores this fight 95 to 94. <laughs> okay, Judge that's not that bad. Scores this fight 97 to 92. And uh -oh. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Adorno. Adorno. WEA Continental Lightweight Champion, Nicholas. Okay. Here we go, Justice. Let's go. Okay. okay. Robert was on it. <laughs> Good shit, Robert. You know I'll just be fucking with you, man. Yeah, I know, bro. I I could tell, bro, that PB and J comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, it's fucking Ramadan. I ain't trying to hear this fucking shit. <laughs> Oh man, Adorno looks ready to protest. I wouldn't be surprised if Adorno goes and just cracks him right now. 
on some uh James Butler. What's does that do? The Walters decisions plus 500. Yeah, man. Congrats to anybody that bet on that shit. I mean, because you clearly just did that shit out of out of faith or a value bet or some. Because uh there wasn't no film for this man for six years. Shit. But shout out to you for taking that chance. <laughs> That's a very exact bet. Ninety seven, ninety two. Like you, you must be one hell of a gambler. Nah, they, they just bet on a decision. Shit, but to bet ninety seven, ninety two. Like you, you, you bet the you scorecards. You can't bet the scorecard. I thought that's what he said. All right, I don't, I don't, I don't wager. So nah, nah, just said. just the money line for a decision for Walters was plus five hundred. Got you. Okay, yeah. No, it's a prop line. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah prop line. I yeah, thought, line. I thought he was saying he was betting the score like how guys would bet like the, oh, the no. time of the round and the stop. I was gonna say like, damn, what are the odds on that? Like, betting the score. <laughs> Dorian, what up? But Dorian on that high guard monster shit, throwing a few flurries around. Of course, he lost like that. Yeah, of course. Who knows? Again, bro, if you saw the fight before, I, you know, you definitely had to step back from scoring fights that went to decisions after that one. Adorno kind of fucking, I'm not going to say he's trash, but his, his style is kind of fucking nice. Nah. I don't, I don't I, again, I don't even want to. I don't want to say trash. I don't. Wanna, it's lackluster as fuck. Like, you just be standing there in the high guard, and then he has no control. Man, like, nothing at all. Teach these guys oh, something. Oh, so I just noticed, man. This is a long ass pro box, bro. They usually eight to ten. How long is this one? Oh, three hours. Yeah, two hours and forty minutes. Don't they got – you said they got hella events this week. I think I saw that shit on the Showtime. Yeah, bro. It was Friday night is top rank. Saturday is – uh, uh Is it everything on Saturday? Saturday? Huh? Is it everything on Saturday? Like literally everything? Nah. Friday night is top rank card with the um, Valdez versus Wilson. Uh, Saturday is Roly Cruz and Zoo Pandora. Okay, I'm looking at the boxing showtimes. It says Shevetsutsky versus Pulev on the zone, Wardley versus Clock uh, Sky Sports, Walker versus Beach Junior. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck Beach. Yeah, we're not paying attention. The zone. <laughs> I'm just looking at all the events. No, Napolitano versus Young on. Uh, you know Ben G is gonna talk about it in the comments. Uh, fucking March thirtieth, <laughs> Napolitano versus Young, Gumerian versus Ramirez, and then we got Fundora versus Zoo, Lopez versus Resendez, R R and Romero versus. What the fuck? God damn! There's like ten fucking different like boxing events. Nah, there's a whole bunch of fights, man. Shit. Friday, yes. Yeah, it was like thirty five this week. It's well, more than that. It's more than that, really, but shit, I'm only going, like, I, the, the, scent, the shit I'm paying attention to is about 30-something. Who's who's Pierce and Villanueva? Are you paying attention to that? That's on Friday. Who? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, because I'm be watching the Valdez. Valdez Wilson. versus Wilson. Okay, so you're only paying attention. That's really all I'm paying attention to, Valdez versus Wilson, and then uh, Fondora versus Zoo, and Roly Romero is going to be on the undercard, right, with Cruz? Uh, I believe so. Um, boxing Showtimes, it shows them like separate. It says Romero versus Cruz, and then it says Fundora versus. No, but they both look say at the fight card. Look at the fight card. On no, it. no, yeah. It says T Mobile Arena in Vegas, and it says 6 p.m. Yeah, oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same shit. It's a okay. Cold name. They, they got it looking like it's two separate. Of, and then they got, um, what, what's his name? Zerto's fighting? Romero? Yeah, Zerto's He's fighting, fighting, yeah. He's fighting that cruiserweight. Oh, Zerto's he went up fighting. a Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. He did move up to cruiserweight. I mean, yeah, shit. All right, Fresh, I hate you, bro. 
And Pulev is fight. I mean, nobody gives a fuck about Pulev. But I'm yeah, I'll be on. Uh, I'll be on Friday night and Saturday night. School, Steve. Definitely got to cover the bits. <laughs> Damn, Dorian, is how you feel? I hear you though. <laughs> Damn, Dorian. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fights on this weekend, man. But yeah, Friday night, Saturday night, and I'm done. And then it's over. Retired. Gone. <laughs> <Retired. laughs> All right. I'm about to retire from this shit too. Uh All appreciate right. y'all for showing up. Uh body shot, Robert. Appreciate you for joining the channel. Chat. Much love. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.